Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Enter the Gungeon. Last time we played as the pilot. Go back and watch episode one if you haven't seen it already. Uh, this time, let's play as the convict. And I want to take a look at what she's got, if I can. Start with affordable arms, semi-automatic infinite ammo does not reveal secret walls. Secret walls? Okay, good to know. Provided by the hegemony regional magistrate, the convict won their plea in... Plea to face the Gungeon in lieu of life imprisonment, undo their crimes, or face an eternity in Gungeon. With no cost to the state, it was an acceptable arrangement. Cheaply made and prone to jams, the budget revolver used by only the most desperate Gungeoneers. And also, no buts about it, semi-automatic sawed off. A shotgun modified for easy concealment. The shorter barrel widens the spread, but up close it's just as deadly as its full-barreled cousin. So, good weapon up close. Active items. Molotov cocktails aren't guns, and so they are frowned upon by long-dwelling gungeoneers. They get the job done regardless. Knowing that hegemony wouldn't let her bring her own weaponry, the convict smuggled in these few bottles with the transport's cargo. And passive items. A photo that the convict brought with her to the gungeon. Deal extra damage for a short time after getting hit. On the journey to the breach, the pilot was once asked her why she always stared at the photo. Later, she was released from the brig. Alright. Story, story, story. Let's go, um... Where, where are those people that we just freed? Perhaps we'll be able to purchase something from their store. Pardon me? Apparently not over here. They said they were going back to the top level of the breach. Perhaps they're in this tent. No. Perhaps they're over here. What's, what are you talking about? What do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. That's extremely rude. You think I'm a new arrival just because I just got it? I don't think so, mister. Okay, so... I don't really know what we unlocked unless they are up here, which is actually completely conceivable now that I think about it. Um, okay, that one's closed off. Maybe we need another cell key. Let's go check out these jokers in here. Whoa! Okay, so this is where we buy new stuff. Alright, greetings. Thank you for the assistance. The acquisitions department is once again operational. Hey, thanks for getting us out of that cell. This is the Gungeon Acquisitions Department. You can donate credits and we'll order new guns and items for the collection. It can be hard to come by here in the Gungeon, but since a the H-Mon take over, took over, sorry, that's all anyone on the outside uses. Collection. Yeah, the Gungeon is like a reliquary or some kind of museum only for guns. So we are collecting all the best ones, then throwing them downstairs. Luckily, the H-Mon has to put rebels down pretty regularly, so we've got a constant supply of new equipment. They'll sell us anything. They'll sell us anything. Once they're ordered, you can find new stuff down in the chambers. Okay, so we unlock new weapons, and then they can show up in the gungeon. So order whatever you want. If you've ordered everything we've listed, just come back later. That's it. Okay. Rocket-powered bullets. RPG. Thompson submachine gun. Heart bottle. Gamma ray. We have six, so I'd like to maybe get a two, a three, and a one. So let's get the one, Thompson submachine gun. The two, gamma ray. And then the three, hegemony carbine. Sweet. And hopefully we'll unlock a lot more of that as we go down this time. I imagine this is one of those things that for, like, Cobalt Streak-esque gungeon players, maybe you only want to unlock the best weapons so they have a better chance of showing up. Which is a completely relevant playstyle. Alright, this has a much faster rate of fire than the Rogue Special, it seems. Like, I'm learning along with you guys here. I oh my god! There's my damage buff after I get hit, at least. Um, but it, it needs to be reloaded much more regularly. I will say... I was there no money for that room? I will say I am not at all stoked about uh, taking damage on the very first room, you know, with HP so hard to come by. Um, this is a little bit of a, I wouldn't say the kiss of death quite yet, but it, it's got, it's giving me pause, that's for sure. Alright. For any situation in which we get even slightly overwhelmed, I have to imagine we should, uh, immediately switch to the crossbow. Not crossbow, sawed off. So we'll take the HP, I don't want any rats stealing it. Tell you what, let's try. Use a Molotov here. I'm assuming that it's, uh, it just recharges over time. Take out the sawed off. The cover can break, as you can see right there, so it's not going to be good forever. Man, the Molotov kind of it rages for a while, man. What's going on here? Okay, with grenades in the mix, I'm going to hang back. Use the sawed off whenever possible. We do have a lot of ammo for it. Should be enough to carry us through the first floor if we use it, uh, you know, fairly liberally, but... Oh, you warrant... A sawed off. Play for sure. Okay. 
One more, one more. Oh, that was really risky, but we got through it. With a little help from my friends, hey. Okay, all weapons are reloaded. Good, 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 good. And if we reload the Molotov like once every two rooms, or even like once every big room is what it seems like almost it's gonna be here. That's fine by me. 35 bucks already as well. Gun bucks, ammo, I don't know. Probably bullets is what you're gonna call them, but I don't know. Lowercase r, 35. How could we not pick this up? What's this tree stump? Decoy, I gotta get the lowercase r. Thanks much, bullet. This shoots out, oh, I shouldn't shoot in the shop. <laughs> this shoots out ammo that spells bullet. Bullet. Alright, that's that's pretty cool actually. Has a lot of ammo, so I'm assuming it kinda sucks. Bullet, 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 bullet. Well, bullet, that's gonna be a little annoying, bullet, but at the same time, it's a nice touch. Okay, don't let this become the story of this run. You taking the worst damage of all time. Oh! We got hit again. Good lord. This is okay. Cause here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna beat our boss. Machine fist, avalanche of bullets. We're gonna beat our boss and we're gonna do so without taking damage so that we actually get an HP upgrade for ourselves. I tell you that, it is destined to happen here. But this is some pretty poor play here to start with. Okay, there's our boss fight. If we don't have to do our boss fight right now, why do our boss fight right now? Save it for the end of the floor. Hopefully we'll still have the HP to feel confident about it. Machine fist. Seems to basically be uh, limited ammo, but a much better version of our budget revolver. Also, rarely re requires reloading. Okay, so we got half a heart and a bomb. Ice bomb. So this replaces our existing active item. But I think we should give it a try. Uh, what in the world was that? Does the machine fist, on like its first shot, fire the fist itself? Oh my god, it does, doesn't it? That is so cool! the ice bomb. Oh, I totally whiffed on it. That's okay. So we actually do have an incentive to reload this all the time, unless we're losing uh, ammo in the process. Or losing a lot of ammo in the process, I guess I mean to say. Like, if I reload, what am I missing here? Or do I have to reload twice? I'm kind of confused about it right now. We got through this room. I don't know. I'm still into it, though. I'm very for this right now. Uh, we do have one more area we've not been to yet. I'm actually pretty happy with where our HP is at, but uh, we're, we're going to want to make sure we're taking a lot less damage in the future. Ooh, we can't open this. We can shoot it. And we got half a heart. That's pretty good, man. I am actually content with that completely. Okay, let's reload our weapon. Get in here. We're fighting the twins again, I think. Yeah. There's three or maybe four first floor bosses that I have unlocked so far. Maybe more to come in the future. I'm not totally sure. Um, Machine Fist seems really good at range on these guys. Don't be afraid to use blanks either. It looks like you're going to get hit. Or if you just want a little bit of a, a window. Okay. Reload further. Put your fist back on. There we go. It, I think it's even a little homing. Have not been hit yet. Oh, that was a little risky. Ah, uh, I think you get the fist if you reload before you have to. Touch dicey there. Oh my god, they're so close. Just make sure you're fine. Kill one. If we kill the other one, we don't... Wait, we get an HP upgrade. That's what I mean to say. Get out of there. Okay, we've only got a hundred bullets left in this bad boy. No, stop shooting bullets! I mean, keep shooting bullets, but stop shooting bullets that spell bullet. I don't know. Maybe maybe we are better off with this. Than using the, the sawed off or something. Oh my god, I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna do it. Oh, we did. We did do it. Shield of the Maiden unlocked. Sweet. More credits, more keys, more armor. What is this? Master round. First chamber. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> didn't mean to throw my ice bomb. Thompson submachine gun has joined the shootout. Gamma ray has joined the shootout. Hegemony carbine has joined the shootout. Shield of the maiden. No, I should have clicked on that one. 
This rare artifact indicates mastery of the first chamber. Apocryphal texts received from cultists of the order indicate that the gun and the bullet are somehow linked. Um, okay, so I guess that means that we mastered this level by beating a boss without getting hit. And we also got green guan stone, chance to heal. If this is an AoE, uh, not AoE, but like a follower that gives us a chance to heal every single room or something, I think this is amazing. Plus we have some extra HP moving forward. Now we have four because we, uh, we didn't get uh, hit there. So, so far I'd say this is going pretty well. This has the makings of a run I can be semi-proud of. Okay, uh, get on this. But be careful. Nice. With teleporters, thankfully we never have to go through that room again. Just waiting for Ice Bomb to recharge so I can actually, uh... So I can actually use it and see what it does against an enemy, instead of just against the ground. I imagine the chance to heal is probably going to be pretty low. I'm using Bullet Weapon, by the way, just because Machine Fist is almost out of ammo. Oh, and that is a great opportunity to pick this up. So it does, maybe it gives you full ammo in one gun, in which case, that's amazing. Okay, I've broken my own cover. You have also broken my heart, Mr. Burgundy. I don't, I mean, here's the thing. I almost have too good to use syndrome with that machine fist right now. Like it's so good that I really, this is an interesting shape room. It's so good I really don't want to run out of ammo with it before we come across rooms that are tough. So, ammo can be somewhat hard to come by, although usually not as precious as HP, so. I think that uh, it is in our best interest to treat it as if it's somewhat precious, or at least, you know, limited, which it is. So instead we're gonna use a lot of ammo in this lowercase r, which is like completely acceptable, I think. Okay, let's open this up. We got, uh, this is the bullet boots, isn't it? Speedier than a bullet. Maybe a speed upgrade or, I mean, I thought maybe it affected our dodge roll. Um, movement speed increased. In an attempt to make a pair of boots that fired bullets, the wizard Albin Smallbore accidentally created these. Each step feels like being shot out of a cannon. Hey, faster movement speed means uh, greater ability to dodge. So I'm for it. This room has a bunch of shrines. The altar is empty. Do nothing. I don't know if we can actually offer anything up to this. This is a room that I do not understand yet. But, you know, a lot of rooms in Isaac we didn't understand. And eventually we, uh, we, we sussed it out. I'm willing to let the mysteries come to me. Enter this room. And then we will further enter the gungeon. Ice bomb! Ice bomb! Magic missile! Okay, I actually much prefer to freeze enemies than to just have them take damage over time from fire, because the freeze also serves as a little bit of crowd control, even if the fire, you know, typically is higher damage. I think. That, that's the way it works in a lot of RPGs, anyway. The only legible text is offering, the rest is blank. Just break the wrist, walk away. Eventually, we'll probably gain the ability to do stuff with that. I think in the demo build, they had some ability to do that, so... Oh, these guys don't seem to hurt. They just push you around, I guess trying to push you into the traps. Oh god. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh my god, it blocked a bullet. That familiar blocks bullets like Guppy's hairball? That's not bad. Yeah, these guys shoot like a really, really high shot speed attack. Um, that's super annoying to dodge. But um, if you can just throw a table up in front of them. Oh, great shot. If you just throw a table up in front of them, it should counter them pretty hard, but. Had a little arrow telling us where the enemy was. Oh my god. I know, bullet, bullet, bullet. Oh, I dodge rolled off the edge. That's gonna take our armor away. Well, I can't really complain. I mean, I did it to myself. Shop is up there. Let's try to garner a little bit more cash before we go for it. Ah, this enemy is annoying enough to warrant the use of a different weapon, I think better weapon. I would rather fight this guy, or I would rather use blanks on this guy than use blanks on the boss, honestly. At least for now, maybe later I'll get to the point where uh, where that's not the case. Alright. 
on this room. It looks like we found the secret room by using that blank, actually, which gave us uh, an extra blank and a key. Always need more keys. Those are precious. Okay, there's our boss fight. I would really, I think on this floor we can afford to invest in an item. Uh, assuming that there's an item that fits into our price range. What I'm getting at is that I don't think we need to buy HP. Use a, use a different weapon for now. There we go. Good room to use Machine Fist on. And, uh, you know what? I guess we'll take extra ammo for the lowercase r. Here we go. Got another new gun. Void Marshal. I think I've had this before. Acquired under the table. I mean, I guess we could look it up. Compact but highly accurate, the Void Marshal is a favorite of smugglers and rogues across the galaxy. So this... A lot of them are references to, to media properties, and uh, I'm not familiar with this one in specific is, but uh, it might be the gun from Firefly or something like that. I remember, I picked up a gun and people were like, the Void Marshal's the gun from Firefly. I'm like, okay. I've not seen Firefly. I know I'm supposed to. I know it's, it's really good. You're the reason they canceled it, NL. No, I'm not. That happened in like 2004. If you're expecting a Canadian 16-year-old to keep your American... Uh, television show alive. You got a you got a problem on your hands. Oh, fuck this dude, man. Well, at least we got another blank. There's probably a better way around that that I'm not considering. Just get him to aggro something else. Okay, well that was much better. Still, this dude can suck on anything that he wants. He can suck on a lollipop as far as I'm concerned because he's not getting any in my body. It's too bootylicious for you, babe. 64. That's good. We got two shops here, or is this just one shop that is, like, large-ish? One shop that's large-ish. Can't buy that. Snowballer or Lodestone Amulet. I know everybody loves the guns, but I think we could use a passive item more for survival purposes here. Blank knock back up. That's what you're gonna give me? Blank knock back up? I could have bought a gun that presumably shoots snowballs. And instead you're gonna give me blank knock back up. Wanted to reload this to get the fist ready. All right, who are we fighting? It's the eye of the gun holder. The eye of the beholster, that's it, okay. This enemy is conceivable to beat without taking damage. It is the second floor boss that I've fought the most. Reload, reload. Ooh, I really like this. This was like where you first realize how valuable the dodge roll can be. When this guy starts doing a laser attack and you're like, how do I get through it? The only thing I have is a, <gasps> wait. Then the light bulbs come on. Ooh. Great work. Just keep it up. This, if there's ever anything worth using all of your, oh God, I got stuck in the wall, but I survived. If there's ever anything worth using all of your machine fist ammo for, it's gonna be another HP upgrade that's permanent. It hit him. It hit him. Just get him. Just get him. He's almost done. Oh, God. The worst timing for a reload. I went too close. He was one shot away, and I fudged it up. God damn, you cypher. What are you doing? I thought maybe you'd explode into something instead of just feel like a murderer. Moon Scraper. Yo, that's pretty dope, though. Okay. Down to the next floor. I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like I've had the moon scraper before, and it's actually not all that and a bag of potato chips, but we will see as we get going a little bit further here. Moon scraper, scraping all the moons. Maybe good for good for some enemies, bad for others. Like it seems pretty good at doing sustained damage there. Um, like maybe that's. Maybe that's a boss item, but not a good room clearer. I'm not sure. Keep in mind, for most of these guns, this is my first experience with them. Maybe that, that bullet that we have has to be hit by other bullets in order to become... Uh, oh, wow! That was some surprising uh, damage there. Uh, maybe it has to be hit by other bullets in order to give us a chance to regen HP? I honestly have no idea. What is up with this guy? We've seen, oh, when you hit him, he gets lit on fire and starts locomoting around. I understand now. 
good, 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 good. Let's come straight up. We may have enough money on this. Just get that thing away from me. We may have enough money on this floor to actually purchase an item. Should be using our ice bomb way more often, probably. Uh, but like, we may have enough to purchase a good item. I think we can. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. That was not difficult at all. We can definitely do this. Just don't psych yourself out. Okay, ice bomb, magic missile, magic missile. Like I'm trying to use the bullet here now, just to like learn something about this item. I guess again, I should just look it up in the in the gun encyclopedia that's next to me. That would probably be a more sensible idea. Here, let's post up. Chance to heal upon taking damage. Okay, well that does nothing. Uh, well, let me put it this way. It doesn't have a net positive. This is the Horn of Gondor. Charm Horn, the Call of Duty. Makes enemies on our side, I suppose? When blown, the horn will call those nearby to aid you. There are strange inconsistencies in the behavior of the gun the gun dead. Originally thought to be heartless killing machines, they have been known to capture certain invaders for unknown purposes. Furthermore, evidence of a crude religion has been discovered. Perhaps one day they could be reasoned with. Let's try it out instead of our ice bomb. I mean, these early episodes... Oh, snap. Are as much about experimentation as anything else. Hold up. What happens if we right-click? Do you think we can make a jump here? Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. There's something going on here. Maybe not. <laughs> Where was my chance to heal on that one? Well, we should teleport. Uh, to here. There might be a secret on that room. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Was there another item on the ground that I missed back here? Like, what is this? Oh, that means the rat took it, right? Oh, I just used the item by accident. Thanks for the ice bomb, Noodle. The rat took it. Then that opened the shortcut for us. Okay. See, that's what I mean. If you leave items on the ground, rat's gonna take them. I'm not sure if he takes them immediately upon you leaving, but uh, doesn't take long. So we'll get to use that Horn of Gondor soon. Hopefully. Hopefully he doesn't have a ridiculous recharge rate or something. Totally fine. We're up to like 50. Yeah, 50 credits almost. Getting to the point where could conceivably pick up uh, some good items from the shop, maybe. That's my hope anyway. Oh, Horn of Gondor is almost ready. Yeah, they start killing each other. Okay. That's good. Good-ish at the very least. We got some ammo-related trouble here, I've got to admit. Oh, another key. Always something good going down to Mr. Sub. Um, that's a Canadianism. Mr. Sub is a Canadian sandwich franchise, which is my favorite of all kinds of businesses. Yo, we gotta kill the snipers. There's an order of operations here. There's a pemdis, or a bed mass, if you will. Oh, that was close. Shoot her! Shoot her! There we go. Now, I don't think that thing in the middle dies until we've killed everything else. So... I'm gonna go with the budget revolver here. Temper... Okay. Was this a sensible choice? I don't think it was not sensible. The blank seemed to probably save us from getting hit there. Please, please. Oh, my lord. Yes, moon scraper. There you go, this guy's finally stopped firing. 63, so we gotta go around the other way, unfortunately. Lowercase r, I think, is our best bullet. bet right now. Bullet. Bullet. Man. Bullet. Prepare for a lot of bullet. 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 Oh, I think we would've been hit there for sure. Bullet. 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 Oh, he took damage. Does that guy take damage when he's when he's burrowed? I'm gonna guess probably not. Bullet. Yeah, where's your bullet on that one? Oh, we got half a heart back. I'm not sure if that was just a random drop or if it was from the enemy. Or sorry, from the item we had, but. I think we're throwing down a reasonably good uh reasonably good run here. Oh, there's our DPS bonus. 
Well, just raw damage bonus, I suppose. Just trying to get as much money as we can before going to the shop, which should be like one room away at this point. I really don't want to buy blanks, just because it feels like buying bombs in, in Rebirth or Afterbirth. I think it was a landslide there. Yeah, Instead, it would be, I, I think, for the best if we could... Oh, shoot this, shoot this. We'll just walk into it. No, it's already been hit. That was the thing that caused the landslide in the first place. Maybe. Yo, you're getting bulleted, dog. You might as well just accept your fate at this point. Um, this is our shop. Ooh, it feels like buying bombs in Afterbirth is what I was going to say, or Rebirth. Luxin Cannon Backpack. Imagine Backpack lets you hold more, but this Luxin Cannon. Omnichrome. Rapid Fire with a big finale. Sounds like some of the men in my life. hi -o. That doesn't really make any sense. This tricky prism requires guile to wield, but with the right lens, fire shreds of solidified light that slice enemies in their path. Falsely rumored to have natural healing abilities. Ooh, it does say falsely, but does that mean falsely, falsely, or not falsely, falsely? You know what I mean? Um, all right, I'm going to start by teleporting over here. I think I'm ready to fight the boss on this floor. I don't know if I missed any items. I'm going to hope that I didn't. Let's see what this bad boy does. Okay. It's the big finish that excites me here. So it seems like this would synergize nicely with steady aim. Got HP back. Where, where, oh, where was my big finish there? Okay, we, we need to learn a little bit more about how this weapon works before we, uh, before I really feel comp confident using it. Um, please. I'm wasting so much ammo. Help me, help myself. Ooh. I still feel like the beam is probably best served to use it on a boss. Oh, I slightly mistimed dodge roll. No, E, E opens that. Stinger, drone warfare. I am not gonna fire that until we find a boss, which has gotta be over on the right side at this point. So one way or the other, this floor is gonna be an important moment. I still feel like lowercase r is our best, um, oh, there we go, is our best, like, weapon for just raw damage, or, like, like simple enemies. Never seen this enemy before either, I think. Cannon Balrog. Um, we're gonna use the, the stinger. Try to make this work. Ah, let me get the stinger, man! So it just seems like it's a rocket launcher that shoots bees? I like how I said just at the start of that and then came to the conclusion that holy shit, a rocket launcher that shoots bees is fucking sweet. Oh, no wonder it's called drone warfare. Okay, bad damage, but I'm not expecting to sight read this boss. Okay, you know what? That's working. But I want to take out the moon scraper here and try to use that. Maybe more sustained damage. Whoa! Bing bang, walla walla bing. Bang. Okay, we're we're about. To, oh my god! I rolled into him. I was just about to say we're about to die, so it does feel like I actually uh, was correct in that assumption. I was still a 24-minute long run, so that's pretty good. Um, died at the same place, but let's go back uh, to the breach here. Uh, and then we're going to end the episode and say thanks for watching. The series is in its infancy. It helps out a great deal if you enjoyed it to click the like button. We'll be back. We'll play as the Marine next episode. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more Gungeon in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.